Welcome back to Acting with CJ. After a little break, I'm delighted to be back for another episode of Acting with CJ. And today, we're going to talk about physical acting. So, acting's not just about learning your lines and standing still in front of camera. There's also a whole other element, which is using your body to create great characters and great stories. Today, we have a special guest who is an expert in physical theatre, and her name is Nicole Crisp. You'll get to meet her real soon. Let's please welcome our physical acting expert for today, Nicole Crisp. Hi, so happy to be here. We're so happy to have you here. So, can you tell us what kind of physical performing you do? Sure, so I have a pretty wide background in terms of um, my physical side of things. So yes, I'm an actor, but I also very much um, train aerials and circus performing, which gives me a very solid base for any kind of physical role that's mm -hmm. out there. I started in gymnastics. Mm -hmm. and then worked my way up from there. So gymnastics, sports aerobics. Um, I found aerial silks, which is my specialty in the circus profession. Um, that's generally a ribbon that hangs from the ceiling and I climb up and I do tricks and things wow, like that down that the ribbon. That's really cool. <laughs> so that's where um, I found circus and I started training at one company but then saw a different company perform in a show and wanted to find out who they were so I could train with them and start performing with them and so that's where I'm at now I also teach at the same studio how much do you sort of have to train each week to keep up your skills? So if I have a performance coming up, I will generally be training a lot more pretty much every day, um, working on routines and performances with, with other people as well. I mean, being a teacher, I have to keep a baseline level of fitness. So I'll generally go in anywhere from two to three times a week up to five times a week. Do you have like a favorite trick or stunt that you like to perform? I. Absolutely do. Well, no, I wouldn't say a favorite trick, but I, I love big drops. So as I said, my specialty is silks. I very much love climbing to the top of the silk um, and setting up all the wraps to do a really big drop that goes down the hole of the silk. So <laughs> that's mainly a little bit because, scary. Mainly because of that reaction. So the audience loves it. Oh, that's cool. That's <laughs> so cool. generally you get the big oohs and ahs from, from audiences when you do big drops like that. They, they look dangerous, but they're, generally not so dangerous because you're very well wrapped up in, in the apparatus, so. You get more opportunities to act in things that require tricks and stunts? Yeah. 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 So as I said, I am, I am an actor um, as well as an aerial performer. So for me, I actually prefer taking on roles that can incorporate my physical ability with the acting side of things. Um, I'm very comfortable in that environment and it's also my niche. So it's the, it's the thing that makes me stand out in the acting mm -hmm. world. So there are so many actors out there, um, but I think it's very important to find that one thing that makes you stand out. And for me, it's, it's the physical side of things. I think having that very, very good body awareness mm -hmm. from all the physical training that I do, um, it's, it has a, a very good base for any, any acting jobs that come up. If there are some kids out there that are looking to, you know, sort of get into a bit more physical theatre, what kind of things can you recommend? Or what advice can you give to them? Right from the get-go, I would say try and get involved in as many sports and exercise as you can, as early as you can. So as I said, for me, I started with gymnastics and I was two years old when I started that. I did it for about 10 years. Um, and I think that gave me a very good baseline body awareness, body strength, coordination, um, all those sorts of things. But along the way, I haven't, it hasn't just been gymnastics that I've done. I've played a number of different sports because basically you want to be as appealing as you can to any role that pops up. Definitely, right from the get-go, try and get involved in as many things as you can. Be on as many sets as you can that um, involve a, a wide range of, um, you know, physical ability levels. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much. It's been awesome having you on. 
You're welcome. Um, thank you so much, Nicole. Good luck to everybody else out there. So I hope you've learnt some really cool things about physical acting today. And maybe you might want to start getting into some sports and activities yourself. But before we go, I have a challenge for you. A tongue twister challenge. And this one's really hard. So the tongue twister is six sick skunks. <laughs> Trying saying that three times fast. I'll catch you next time on Acting with CJ.